this Youth Cup run. The story of the final is that Aston Villa led in both legs of it. Tonight the chances came and went for Chelsea. And we did begin to wonder whether or not they might regret those misses. They've given us wonderful entertainment throughout the run. Wonderful entertainment in this tie and on the night. And richly deserved is this outcome. Heroes 2, Villains 1. We work really well and um, everyone plays, plays for the team and I wasn't worried at all. And what a great team goal it was. Really great first goal cross. Uh, I'm coming first cross like Dermot told me on the score. And it really lifts us up, gave us confidence, and then Connor just strikes it in and we won, so it's great for us. How good has our football been in this Youth Cup run? Uh, sorry, how? How good has our football been in this Youth Cup run? Oh, really, really, really good. I think we've we developed really good and we played really well, played the ball and really good. I go and celebrate with the others. Gentlemen, 2010 FA Youth Cup champions, it feels fantastic. It's good, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't come better than that, to be honest with you. We were the best, better side as well. And I think we thoroughly, thoroughly deserve the win. And well, for Connor Killock, Clifford, the captain, you know, to, to get that shot in away at the end and bang on target. Super. Jason, what amazing scenes. This is what we wanted to see throughout the whole campaign. And it's coming true for these boys tonight and they thoroughly deserve it. Absolutely. This has been a vision for this football club pretty much since Roman has turned up here. This yeah. is what, what we're seeing now are the, is, are the fruits of that hard labour from, from Neil Bath, Jim Fraser. Well, an occasion to remember for them, if not an achievement. They've done well enough to be here, but it's about Chelsea, and I don't think Villa really can complain too much, Tommy Langley. The no. best team on the night by distance, and from what we saw, the best team in the competition well, by they, distance. They can't begrudge Chelsea this, this trophy tonight. I mean, over the two legs, Chelsea have been far superior. I mean, Villa have been very dogmatic. Tony McAndrew set his team out and, and Gordon Cowan's to, to nullify the Chelsea effect and they did it to, to some sort of standard but not good enough and um, as I said our better players turned up tonight Josh McEachern in particular outstanding and um, it's just great to see I'm gutted because my little man Cabby is not out there and I, I would love to see him um, collecting his, his medal and his trophy because he deserved it he set up the first goal which got us back in the game but this man who's going to pick the trophy up fully deserving he's had an outstanding season Connor Clifford he certainly has, and, and fitting really that he scored such a wonderful goal that helped to win it. An individual moment, but certainly a big team effort. And for the third time in club history, Chelsea have won the Youth Cup. 1960, 1961, and now in 2010. Chelsea's kids are more than all right. They are sensational. They are the best. And we will watch their progress with great interest. <laughs> a wonderful side, a wonderful performance, and a magical running. Youth Cup run. Fantastic. I'm so pleased with Dermot as well. I mean, he, he's been superb. He, he cajoles these boys in that team spirit tonight. Was If it had gone missing, mate, we'd have had a problem. But he's done a, ma a magnificent job, as has everyone else. There's a lot of coaches in behind him that have done well. IDV Bash has come in. And, uh, and Mark Beanie, the goalkeeping coach, they all deserve credit for cajoling this spirit, which has got us where we are tonight. Plenty of hype for this age group. They have more than lived up to it. Chelsea have won the 2010 Youth Cup. They have been the best. Tommy Langley, thank you to Neil Barnett, and thank you to the academy and to the players and to the football they've produced this season, because... Clive, Jason, it's been it's been unbelievable and it's been a pleasure to watch. Well, they've been good, haven't they, all season? But I think this just caps it all for us. And I think one thing that strikes home to me is that when we hear about things that have been said in the past about you know, Chelsea being out, having the opportunity to buy players, well, now we can start to put the record straight. That will resonate around and. Uh, Maybe other teams will start to look at it. Maybe, just maybe, Chelsea have been doing it in exactly the right way. We're going to stay on these pitches for as long as possible because it is great. The fans are still packed into Stamford Bridge. There were 12,500 tickets sold for the game. The players are walking around with a trophy and it is great scenes. Enjoy the moment, you know, enjoy it. These boys have worked hard and we saw there, we heard the interview with Connor and um, we heard Dermot say this was the dream at the beginning of the season. I know what it, how much it means. To the, to the academy to not just get to the final, we've done that, but to go on and win it. This is a landmark, this is historic yeah. today, and it does, you know. It's players have been 
saying throughout this campaign that we are a unit. It's not just down to one player. It is everybody playing their part. That is the reason we're lifting this trophy today. Yeah, I mean, we, we can go back a few years, I suppose, and look at the big picture that Mr. Abramovich probably looked at. And so we'll look, let's look at the training facilities and, and everything about Cobham. And we all know how good it is and the heart that he's got in it. Not, not just the fact that it's his job. It's his heart, his whole life, his, his, his involvement in getting these young boys through, not only as individuals, hopefully at one stage into the first team, but also as a team and as a group and a squad. And we can see all the coaching staff enjoying themselves there. But that's what it's all about. And to come through at the end with a cup final win is something very, very special. Well, the academy is such a tight unit. They took 48 people to Villa Park. If it had been St James's Park, they would have taken the... Имаше своите моменти, своя шанс да оставя отпечатъка си върху настоящия сезон от английската висша лига. Това все още са футболистите, като Сам Хачесън, като Фабио Борини, като Джей... Челси Кампион Душмохта Джефри Брюма и Петрек Фан Анхолд Медун на фестивитайта. И не мет 8-0 говане кампионсветсайд саде бе де юнглинген нит бе де селекци. بطل الدوري الانجليزي الممتاز الف مليون مبروك لكل من يعسك هذا النادي لكل من يتعاطف مع هذا النادي الفريق اللندني الكبير حقق رابع لقب في تاريخه على مستوى البريمير ليج يستحقون كانوا باللقب يحلبون ها هم يحققون لقب الدوري طبعا يستحقون هذا الرقم يستحقون هذا اللقب الف مبروك لانصار تشيلسي تهنئه حاره من طبعا فريق العمل في شبكه يوربيت شو تايم وتشيلسي كان يستحق اللقب لانه كان الفريق الافضل في الموسم ولانه حطم كل الارقام الممكنه وحتى الارقام غير الممكنه